Jab, kick, jab, kick, jab, straight, hold up, hold that body, low kick. Again, it's going to go left jab, and then right body kick. And again, left jab, right body kick. So when, when he's attacking his body kick, he's looking for a reaction. Whether I'm doing a, a double arm block or I'm, doing a, a, I'm blocking with my leg, he's looking for that reaction to that body kick. Obviously, if he's not getting that reaction, he's going to be landing that body kick and scoring and, and damaging me anyway. But once he's done that a couple of times, so again, jab, right body kick, jab, right body kick, and he's got me reacting to that body kick in, in whichever uh, defensive measure I'm using. Obviously, he needs me to block. If I'm stepping back, it's not impossible to do what I'm going to do now, but it's not going to be as, um, you're not going to be as confident that you're going to land it. So, so once we've done this jab body kick a couple of times, one more time, jab, right body kick, jab, right body kick. This time he's going to go jab. He's going to turn his hip over, and sometimes you might want to lift the knee a little bit. That's going to get that draw, that same reaction. He's going to go straight away into the scissor left knee, high and land forward. Now, as soon as he's done that, he's going to drop his weight down and throw a right overhand, come back that left body shot, and from there, right low kick. Again, you could throw any height round as kick off that, but typically if you're attacking levels, you want to change levels. So from here, we've gone high, low, high body low. He could have finished with the head kick. So one more time, so we go jab, right kick, jab, right kick, jab, fence it, scissors. Overhand, body, and then low kick downstairs. Yeah? Okay, so again, the key with this one is drawing that reaction, that right body kick. So obviously at the moment we're not going full whack, but if we were to go full whack, you can kind of see how it works. Now, when I say faint, I don't want to faint and then stop. The whole movement's just going to be one flow, and that's going to draw that reaction. So we'll go a bit quicker now. Are you ready? One, jab, kick, jab, kick, jab, faint, come up, hold that body, low kick. Uh, so, it's one of those things with scissor knee, it's really a devastating technique, but you've got to drill it to get your confidence with it, and you've got to figure out different ways how you want to set it up. Obviously, there's only certain rules of fights and level of fights where you're allowed to use it, K1 rules, for example, but it's a very solid technique when you get confident with it. You see it a lot in glory kickboxing and a lot of um, kind of European kickboxing promotions. Guys, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this uh, quick tutorial. It's been uh, great to be back on here. It's always nice to have Mike help me out. If you want any more great coaching and tutorials on a wide range of martial arts, you know what to do? Go and check out uh, Warrior Collective.